Shop Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly animate a custom shape design. Now, it's going to be a very, very basic animation across this flower design. Now, picture. Okay, first thing to do, just quickly go to Custom Shape Tool. I'm going to use it as a shape. I'm going to use Fill, and I've got some custom shape designs here. These are flower designs you can find on the Graphic Extras website. And I'm just going to select one. There's one. So I'm just going to apply it as a layer. Now, I'm also going to unlock that. I'm just going to unlock that as well. So I've got that and that. So they're all accessible now via this timeline. Just go to Window and Timeline, and then Create Video Timeline. Now you can see now I've got that created there. Now I could actually have maybe multiple pictures behind. I could maybe apply different blurs so it sort of looks like it's sort of, you could do a whole heap of things with the background. That's why it's a good idea to unlock it and maybe use it for effects as well as the custom shape. But the thing I want to do with this, this custom shape, is actually I'm just going to reduce that down. Now I don't want it for the whole design and I'm actually going to start it like that. So it's going to be like swaying in the wind. So I've just got that there. You can see over here layers, you've got layers. And then I can just go along there. I'm just going to go to duplicate. duplicate that. It's a vector design, so you can sort of modify it. And you just move it around. And there, I'm going to go with there. Now, obviously, it's going to be a bit of a jump as it moves. It's going to be a very jittery one. So you can make it smoother and we we'll use other techniques to actually get that much better. But I'm just doing a basic animation, showing from jumping from one to the next to the next. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to drag that over there. And you can see when you go back there, you can see it moving around. Now, once you're there, you can see there again, just go over to Layer and Duplicate Layer. And then just go there, and then just, oops, don't want to drag that around. What I want to do is actually move that. So I'm just going to drag that there. And again, go to that point. So now, rotate that. Of course, probably best to actually see what I'm actually doing there. So, so you can actually see it, and you can, of course, the good thing about this video head, you can actually just click there, and you can move around and see the flower moving like that. Now, what you want to do then, and I'm just going to quickly say, next thing, I'm just going to go there because I want to actually put it back to the same point. So I'm actually going to duplicate that. So duplicate layer. So I've got that one. Well, I want it actually above, so I'm just going to select that and just drag that up there and move that along there. The reason being, I'm just going to, so you've got that and you go there and you go there and then it goes back again. Right, now, once you've actually got that design, I say very basic animation, you've got all the various settings here. Now I'm going to reduce the length of time, I don't want it all the way there. So I'm just going to go to that point and it will just stop. Right. So just that's it. Very, very basic flower design. And of course you can add maybe a, have a photo there. You don't have to have a custom shape. It could be a just a standard like cutout. You could do your masking and make your flower. Well I haven't, I've also got this vector design. Now what you can do then, you can actually just go down here to export and save for web. And once done that, what I'm gonna do next is you can see it's a GIF, obviously it's uh, it's a photo, it's going to have a bit, and it's quite a large file, reasonably large. I want to select GIF there, and then you can see the all the things there. So you can just click there and see it animated. Now, if you want to actually have it loop around, you can actually say forever, and you can say save as. And then I'm just going to save it as that. And that's it, how to create a quick animated GIF with a very basic custom shape, flower design with an image behind. But as I say, it could be just a normal layer where it's a flower that you've cut out and you've actually added it, making it move. Maybe different flower, different designs at different times, so it makes it look more realistic. So that's, and of course, then you can go to that GIF file, put it into a web page and check it out. You can actually see it moves satisfactorily. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.